everybody's in shape is going out of day that you really don't need two days anymore. What's your approach in that, and how many two days will you have? Well, I think, like, um, and we're set on paper to do it potentially five times, uh, but the length of it, or the physicality of it, or is, if, is you know, uh, is one price maybe we'll go over a walkthrough or kicking emphasis or whatever. I think I think you pick your spots. Um, I know in our world, I think we've we've changed enough attitude-wise, talent-wise, and where guys are that the first year you're trying to see who's in or out, and now you're trying to get them right. And so that being said, I think it just kind of changes, you know, your thought process of, you, you know, it's more about quality practice and mentally and physically. Now we've got to continue to get tougher. You can't drop. We got a lot of strides to make defensively. We got to tackle well. We still can't really lose our edge. You know, blocking up front and all that's a fine line. Uh, and you're asking a great question, but I just think more than anything. We're just at a different point because these kids are at a different point. Where I just I think I have a different mindset going into practice because I think if we if we can do things right, stay healthy, and, and touch on the right basis, we can build through preseason and come out. I think with the chance to be very competitive. Kevin, you seem to have have, uh, have uh, you know convinced people in your own program and your own players that Indiana football could be could be really something. I guess what what do you have to to do to take the next step? To, I guess to make believers out of people you're ranked. You know, preseason, sixth in the league. I mean, still people kind of dismiss IU football. Yeah, I, you know, I, and, and no matter where they rank you, what you still got to go play and all that kind of stuff. I mean, to me, we just got to we got to keep we got to keep going deep to the win, and we've we've made some strides, and we still hadn't gotten where you needed to. But it's just it's going to be a very competitive schedule. It's not going to be easy, but I don't think it ever is. So I don't think that's an excuse. I wish we had seven home games or eight instead of six, but hey, that is well, that's, that's an excuse too. I think there's things you want to do to get the things right, but at the end of the day, we've got to do things to win. And I just think we're going to be more talented, more experienced, more athletes. It is going to be challenging, but I think we've got a chance to match up. And what I think, as much as anything, I've said this for about a year now, we've gotten past comp- competing or internal trying to beat ourselves, and now I think we're getting to the point where we start playing the other team. I think initially we were we were playing ourselves as much as they figure out you know who's in or out and who's 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 all you know, you know who can you count on and all that stuff. And I think we've kind of we've gotten some young guys that have bought in through the years and there's kind of a nice culture and standard of how we want to operate. We've recruited better and we're developing them better. Uh, but ultimately, you know, you know, the total focus needs to be on the locker room, practice, game plan, go play, make some plays, get some wins, and. And, and, and start doing that a few years in a row to really get the, the perimeter and exterior support coming. You really do get the, the vibe from your guys that they're genuinely excited about representing Indiana football. I mean, that's like an enormous part of their life. I mean, that's just, it just seems like what they're all about, your, your, own, your own players. Uh, well, and, and I, again, I think the way we, we I mean, it's a, it's a huge commitment now. I mean, it's a lot of time, and it's not for everyone. That's why sometimes there, there might be an attrition or, Someone doesn't stick with it. I mean, there's just there's certain guidelines and policies and procedure. I think someone even pointed out a year ago. I mean, I think uh, the departmental policy for for athletics says that our kids should, should act better than faculty and staff do. On I mean, it's it's, a, it's a, you know when you know, when you've got you know the coverage we have today and you've got you know a national network covering everything you do, even though you're a young man, you want to have fun, have the college experience. You know, you've you, you you've got to handle it in a very respectful way. And I think it's taken some time for guys to get into understanding like hey we want you to be a kid and have fun but there's just a, a, some ways you got to do things and I think our guys love our school and I think our guys more than anything I think our guys love themselves I think we got a, a team that kind of I think there's a lot of mutual respect internally and I think as we came out of spring and there's some competitive O and D, D practices and not that we've ever been tilted one side's done a little bit better than the other but I think there's a stronger camaraderie. I think now I get comments of guys saying, hey, now when we're off the field, I see more groups hanging together, just going to watch a movie or going to somebody's house and hanging out playing video games. And the more of those guys are together, the closer they get. You, want to, you know, bottom line, at the end of the day, you're playing for your teammates. You talk about school pride all you want, traditions. You talk about playing for good, but really you're playing for those brothers that you hook up with every day. And I think that's why our kids are excited because I think they like themselves. You said that you wanted uh, Sutton.